This is the Maxad area of the Oman Ophiolite. The mountains behind me are part of the mantle sequence and for the most part these rocks are dunitic, unusual part of the mantle sequence lying just below the Moho. And so much of the structures that we see in these brown coloured rocks behind us are part of this what we call mantle transition zone or moho transition zone made up of these dunitic rocks. Now one particular feature of this area is that there are a number of important chromite bodies formed in this dunitic transition zone. So we are at the site of some chromite mining. This particular area behind me uh, has been mined out but there's active mining going on lower down the mountain and you may hear some of the noise of the traffic in the far distance. The boulders around me are big blocks of chromite which have been um, mined out and we're going to look in some detail at the chromite layers within this dunite sequence. The two main rock types here are dunite which is this one and chromite which is this one. Now they're very similar in colour the dunite is exceptionally fresh here and so is a greeny black kind of colour whereas the chromite is more of a black black colour. And what we can see here is a number of alternating layers of dunite and chromite. So if we look below here there's a chromite layer, then there's a dunite layer and then there's a chromite layer, another one about 15 centimetres or so and then a dunite layer here 40-50 centimetres thick and then a chromite layer here. And it's this lead nature of these rocks which characterises this particular set of outcrops. What I want to do now is just look at some of the detail, the fine detail in the chromites. Look at this particular band and you may just be able to detect that it's actually quite blotchy. There are lighter coloured blobs and darker coloured blobs. The lighter colour is olivine and the darker colour is chromite. And this rock shows what we call an anti-nodular texture. There are little nodules of olivine-rich areas, about a centimetre large, with fewer chromite crystals. And then there are other areas, other domains in the chromite rock, which are, are much richer in chromite. And this is a persistent feature we see in many of the chromite layers here. Another of the details that we see in this outcrop is the fact that in some places the chromite is very finely banded. This specimen I have in my hand, for instance, has chromite bands, the black ones, the grey dunite bands, and then some very fine layers made up of yellowy green olivine crystals, making up layers of large crystals. We also see this material in outcrop. It's here on my right, and we can see the blacker chromite bands interlayered with the yellowy green olivine rich layers and individual olivine crystals and then dunite bands here, the finer grain bands and then more chromite here with, mixed with olivine, disseminated chromite in this case. So here we are seeing it in outcrop and although it's less visible it grades upwards into the anti-nodular chromite which we spoke about earlier.